G'day, it's Marty Ware here from youtube.com slash Marty's Garden and www.pottedvegetablegarden.com. Thanks for coming to check out my video about three unique ways how to use recycled plastic bottles for container gardening. Yep, and you can see right in front of you here we've got a real little beauty and you know it's just it's not actual photo of a plant but it's a great drawing and it shows how the system <clears throat> actually works now you can see that they've just put uh you know the plant in the top now you could use soil you could use um hydroponic rocks and have a hydroponic solution down the bottom that's that medium is totally up to you and also what the plants that you want to grow the bottom part you see they screwed the lid on and they put a little hole and they've used a wick. Now the wick can be anything that will actually take to draw the water up. So uh, it's a great little system to use and you can actually, some people just actually screw away the lid and fill the water up higher and just so the bottom part of the lid just sits in the water but the only problem with that is as the water evaporates away then uh, the plant's not in the water anymore. So the wick's a really good little substitute when you know you don't want to have to go there and water all the time and the container's great if you're a bit of a recycler like me I'm going to show you the next one now it's in my eco urban sustainability page in Pinterest and we just go across now and you can see here they've done the system that I was telling you about so basically the bottom of the container uh, just sits into the into the water and it draws it up through over time. Now if you're going to plant into these like this, I suggest that you, before you uh, put the seed in or you put the plants in, that you get that um, medium that's in there, the soil potting mix or whatever that you're going to use, uh, just nice and moist before you put the seedling in there. And if you're going to sprout seed, do it in a, um, a warm spot out of the sun, um, possibly even on your um, heater or something like that or on a warm window seal and you'll find that after time um, yeah they'll start to sprout and grow and it's a great little way to use up these these bottles that um, you know they're a never-ending resource that's for sure okay let's go to the next one here you can see he's created a vertical bottle garden and he's growing lots of lettuce and things in there and, and you know this is a great little system but uh, what he's done is he's painted it black around the outside where the root area is because um, some people believe that the light on the roots affects them. I found that it just depends if you're in very strong sunlight, yes. Um, if you're in low light then it doesn't really matter too much. But there's some plenty of great systems around like this on the net that you can find. And um, they work re really quite well. And if you're limited for space going vertical and using this this type of system where it's all linked up so you water at the top and it all runs through and ah yeah and it saves water and then you can gather it again and go again so you can use a hydroponic system you can use uh, just normal uh, potting mixes or you can actually even these days get organic hydroponics which um, I would re recommend for a, a system such as this one because they just stay nice and clean alright so that's it for me uh, I'm going to sign out now thanks so much for coming to watch the video if you want to see more videos just like this one, come and see us at youtube.com slash Marty's Garden. Yeah, subscribe up above and click the like button down below and show your buddies. And yeah, we'll see you at the next video with more cool ideas just like this one or even out in my garden or someone else's garden. Who knows? All right, we'll see you there. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy gardening. Bye for now.